Hi guys, today I'll be showing you how to downgrade your old iPhone 4S from any iOS version back to iOS 6.1.3 officially using iTunes. In my previous video regarding how to downgrade iPhone 4S from 9.3.5 back to 6.1.3, that one you have to use some tricks type in some codes so that you are able to downgrade but right now you don't need any tricks with this method there's no trick you just go straight to iTunes to downgrade because for some reason Apple is re-signing iOS 6.1.3 for iPhone 4S and iPad 2 I will also be showing you how to jailbreak your iPhone 4S after you downgrade as well as the must-have jailbreak tweaks for your iPhone 4S last but not least I will also show you what apps still support iOS 6 because some of you may feel worried about being unable to install your favorite apps after downgrading okay without further ado let's get started the first and foremost you need to download the iOS 6.1.3 firmware for your iPhone 4S by going to this website the link to this website is in the description below so you go to this website you can see here they have iPhone, iPad and so on. Click on iPhone and you go and find iPhone for us. And here you can see 6.1.3. Click on it. Click download. For mine it will download here. But for you it will download directly in the browser. After you complete downloading, the ending it will say IPSW like that. So after you get the firmware, you can start the downgrade process. But before that, let's take a look at my iPhone screen first. As you can see, this is the look of iOS 9.3.5 for iOS 9. If you go to the settings, general, about, you can see here it is 9.3.5. Like I said earlier, you can downgrade your iPhone 4S from any iOS version back to iOS 6.1.3 so after you download the firmware for iOS 6.1.3 for your iPhone 4S already you can go directly to iTunes and then you can start the downgrade to downgrade as you can see the option there are only two they have the check for update and restore iPhone to downgrade you just have to click on restore iPhone but you need to click on your keyboard you have to click option key and then click restore here if you're using windows you have to click on shift and then click restore iphone now you have to find where you have saved your downloaded ios 6.1.3 firmware i save it on my desktop here click open click restore and you just wait for it to finish the restoring and downgrading process For your information, even though Apple is re-signing iOS 6.1.3 for iPhone 4S, for some reason Apple does not admit it officially, so after you complete your downgrade process, sometimes some of you might experience problem with activating your iPhone because sometimes Apple's server works fine for iOS 6.1.3, but sometimes it doesn't. So just keep trying, it will eventually work. Okay, you can see on my screen, your iPhone has been restored to factory settings and it's restarting. Just wait for the iPhone to finish restarting. Okay, so now let me try to activate my iPhone. Let me type in my password. Okay, when I click next, it will activate my iPhone. Okay, as you can see, this is the look of iOS 6.1.3. We go to settings, general, about, here it is iOS 6.1.3 okay next I will show you how to jailbreak iOS 6.1.3 to jailbreak you go to the same website I showed you earlier and then you go to this question saying can I jailbreak click on that and go to find your iOS version so you can see here 
This one is a iOS 6.1.3 to 6.1.6 .6. jailbreak using Post 6 SPWN. Click on this. You just select the one that is compatible with your computer. If you're using Mac, click here. If you're using Windows, click here. I want to jailbreak on Windows because it is more stable than on Mac. Now click on download. Because my computer is a MacBook, in order to use Windows on Mac, I need to install Windows on my virtual machine app. Like in my situation, I'm using Parallel Desktop. So what this app does is it allows you to install Windows computer on your Mac. To jailbreak, you just right click on it and run as administrator. Click yes, and you have to plug in your iPhone for us. Now to see iPhone for us with iOS 6.1.3 detected. Click jailbreak. Just exit it. Slide to unlock. Here's a CD. Open CD again. Next, I will show you 5 must-have tweaks that you should be installing in your iPhone 4S to make it much more convenient to use. The first tweak is called Zephyr. If your home button stops working or doesn't work well, you must install this tweak because it helps you to use your phone without touching your home button. Let me show you an example here. You see I scroll up without touching my home button and it activates App Switcher. It's the same thing like when you double click on home button. You see I use it just like home button, but it's much better and more convenient than home button. You can also swipe from left to right or right to left to switch between apps. You see how cool this tweak is? The second tweak is called swipe selection. Here, with this tweak installed, you will be able to select any part of the text quickly and easily by swiping left to right. Or right to left. Let me show you example here. Let's say I type something on my note. You can see I can swipe left to right or right to left to select any part of the text with ease. And you can use any row of your keyboard to swipe from left to right or right to left. The third tweak is called phone buzzer here. With this tweak, when you call someone and when that person has picked up your phone call, your phone will vibrate to let you know without looking. Let me show you an example here. I will use this phone to call my other phone. You hear that? The vibration. When you hold your phone in your hand, you will know that the other person has picked up your phone because it vibrates to alert you. Trick number four is called eye cleaner. Here, this tweak will help you to clean junk files from your iPhone for us to get some storage back. Each day you use your iPhone it will generate lots of junk files and temporary files and there's no way that you can delete those files but with this tweak it will help you to delete those files quickly and easily to get some storage back let me show you an example here this is the tweak just click on it just click on clean to start cleaning
now it's done you can see you have freed 126 megabyte of space back click just to respring your device the last tweak is called kill background here with this tweak you will be able to remove all running apps with just one click let me show you an example here usually without kill background if you want to remove the running apps you have to press hold on one app to make all the running apps wiggle so that you can delete each app but with the kill background trick you will see a red dot that look like a skeleton you click on it it will remove all the running apps you can also configure this tweak by going to settings and you can enable the bottom to appear on the left just like this or you can enable the big buttons to show on both sides like that to quit all the running app just click on the red skeleton button just like that okay these are the five must-have tweaks for your iPhone first now let's talk about the supported apps for your iOS 6.1.3 how many apps will support your iOS 6.1.3 well most social networking apps like Facebook Instagram Twitter line WeChat YouTube, even Spotify still work on iOS 6. When you download each of these apps, it will ask you if you want to download the older version of the app to work on iOS 6. Let me show you here. Let's say I search for Facebook. So if you already signed in and you have already used that Apple ID to download it in other device, it will show you like this. Click on it. And you can see they say download an older version of this app so just click download and take a look at the home screen see it start downloading like I said with most social networking apps even this one same thing here you see this which means it has the older version that support iOS 6 Instagram But for WhatsApp, it does not support. It requires iOS 7. Let's try YouTube. You can see they have older version. And as I have already tested, usually if the app that you want to download has been designed since iOS 6 or before iOS 6 App Store will give you the option to download the older version of these apps to support iOS 6 however not all apps will give you this option so some apps will support even this Google Map app if you're using Gmail Gmail also support here Like I said, it, most of the social networking apps will work, even Line, here, even Spotify. You can see. So here, the Facebook has been downloaded. If you open it. It works perfectly. Okay, that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please click like, comment down below, and subscribe for more useful videos in the future. Have a great day guys. See you in the next video.